Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Express.js and Mongoose CRUD tutorial. This tutorial is good for absolute beginners as well as for experienced folks. I'll be covering right from scratch, right from setup to advanced use cases of all the CRUD functionality. This is part one of the series. As we progress in the series, we will learn how to create custom routes, how to create Mongoose schema, we'll implement the CRUD functionality which is create, read, update, delete and finally I'm going to do a full demo of the application that we build and provide you the source code. Without wasting any time let's get started first with the overview. I'll start with Express.js overview. So what is Express.js? Express.js is a fast minimalistic web application framework for Node.js. Using Express.js we can build robust RESTful APIs and which on which we have more flexibility and control because Express.js is an unopinated framework. We are free to choose the kind of application structure we want to build upon. Express.js heavily uses middleware concept which means functions can be used to handle requests and responses. Express.js has support for all the HTTP methods like GET, POST, PUT, DELETE. Express.js not only have a powerful routing mechanism but it also has templating engines like EJS, PUG, Handlebars, etc. It's suitable for both small as well as large scale complex enterprise applications. Let's talk about MongoDB. When you're working with Mongoose library, you it, what it essentially means is that you are trying you are saving your data in MongoDB. So it's important to know what is MongoDB. MongoDB is a popular open source NoSQL database. It's designed to handle large unstructured data. It's unstructured because unlike traditional relational database systems, the data is not stored in tables or columns, rows and columns. Instead, it is stored in a JSON-like format. In MongoDB, we call it BSON, which stands for Binary JSON. MongoDB is schemaless, which means any document that we create can have any structure and any number of fields. MongoDB has rich query capabilities, including support for CRUD operations, aggregations, and advanced search. MongoDB is flexible and has a powerful query language called MQL which is MongoDB query language which allows for complex data retrieval and manipulation. Today in this particular series we will also learn and touch base about little bit about MongoDB using MongoDB Compass application. Now let's learn about Mongoose. What is Mongoose? Mongoose is a object document mapping library for MongoDB which means we create this schema for and do modeling of our data based on our application requirement. Using Mongoose, we can define custom schemas and add validations. That way it becomes much powerful in terms of how we save the data to Mongo. It offers powerful features like middleware, virtuals, population aggregation for advanced data manipulation and query capabilities. Mongoose extremely works easily and seamlessly with Express.js and other Node.js based applications as a middleware which helps us in schema. We'll learn everything about it in this series. Alright, now that we know about Express.js, we know about MongoDB, we know about Mongoose library, let's talk quickly about CRUD and then we start the setup. CRUD stands for Create, Read, Update and Delete. Create means inserting records or documents into database. Read means retrieving the data from the database. Update stands for updating existing data in the database. Delete as the name says, it's used for deleting the records. We'll perform these using Express.js and build RESTful APIs to do the CRUD operations. That being said, let's get started with the setup. The first thing you will need is to make sure that you have the MongoDB installed on your system. I, I am using MongoDB Compass application. You can download it for free from MongoDB website. 
it, this step is extremely essential even before you learn the CRUD operations. So make sure that you have the MongoDB installed and you have the MongoDB Compass application downloaded. That way it's easy to get started. All right, so that being said, let's do the setup on the Express side. I'm going to create a brand new application and in the folder, I'm going to create a new folder, Express.js Mongoose APIs. Okay, that's my project name. Now open, I'm going to open the terminal and I'm going to go into that folder. Okay, Mongoose APIs. And the first thing we'll do is npm init. It will initialize our package and the repo, enter the details that you want. Now that we have initialized, we will see the package.json. Now I'm going to go ahead with the installation. So first we will install Express. Next, we are going to install Mongoose. And then we will also need body parser. So let's install that also. PM install body parser. These are the three things we will require to work with MongoDB and Mongoose library. Okay, so these are the three things we need Express, Mongoose library, and body parser. So far, so good. I hope you are coming here till here you are successfully achieved. Then we are going to import Express.js and say require Express. We are going to import the Mongoose library. And we are going to import the body parser. Okay, these are the three things that you need to import. Now that you have imported them, we'll going to say, we'll create a new instance of Express. So we are going to say app equal to Express. So we are telling that this is an app which is working on Express. Okay, so for now, what we'll do is app dot use body parser dot JSON. This is required because we will have to get the data from the request body. That's why we need this. Along with this, we'll also have to write app.use body parser dot URL encoded and we are going to set it to true. So here we'll write extended is true. Okay, that's all you need uh, for body parser. Now we can also men let's mention the port number and we are going to create the instance so that app would listen. Listen to which to port number and then followed by a callback. And here we are going to say application started or something like that. All right, that's all you need uh, to just write the code, okay? Now let's quickly do a node index.js. That's how you run the Express application. You will just do index. And so now it says server started successfully at port number 3000. All right. So that's all we will do in today's episode. Uh, we just we went over the overview of all the libraries and frameworks required. That is Express.js, Mongoose library. We touch based upon MongoDB and we install the required framework and dependencies. Once we have this, we have created a simple basic file which has an app that we started on Express. We included the body parser. That's all for today. In the next episode, we are going to do custom routing as well as the schema creation. Okay, And that's the where we'll actually define our application schema and we will learn to write some validations of it. Okay. I hope you're following. I hope you will you're enjoying. I hope you're learning from the series. If you have any questions, any feedback, if even if you love this tutorial, please do let me know in the comment section. Hit that like button and subscribe button.
Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.